It has to be magical. I think that to not be inhibited, even if you're kind of not sure about whether you want to fully execute an idea, you should just go there because you don't know where it's going to go. It might go past that idea into something else. I usually go to um, some museum um, to see some classical paintings and reliefs. In my work, I refer a lot of um, traditional paintings in terms of the composition. So I want to learn how those artists use the composition to guide the viewer's eyes. Well, in elementary school, I had this really awesome art teacher, and I ended up taking private lessons with her. And my first painting, official painting, was of my cat. <laughs> and I just remember this moment when she looked at the painting and she was like, you're a painter. And that was the moment where I was like, okay. But it was kind of not until I was 24 where I was like, I'm gonna be an artist. If you fear something's gonna go wrong and you shut down, you're not even doing anything. So the longer you avoid it, the more fear grows out of it. If you have a level of bravery, you can say you're not confident about how it's gonna turn out, but you have enough strength to start to make that first move. And that makes all the difference. I've never been afraid to paint over something. You have to let that fear of ruining it go. Otherwise, if you don't take those risks and make those failures, you don't step aside so that you can actually get to the next level.